But we're talking about like a music education in schools and stuff. Yeah. And you, obviously, as a singer, you've gone around, sang at school, sang at different things. Um, why do you think uh, music is beneficial for children's education? Oh, well, number one, um, music is what impacts the youth the most. You know what I mean? When they're not around people, they're listening to music. When they're walking to school, they're listening to music. And it's very important that the message that people are portraying within their music is strictly beneficial to them. Because, I mean, forgive me for saying this, but you know you listen to the radio. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I have nothing wrong with the. I listen to it, you know what I mean? But I have, I have a uh, more developed common sense than younger kids do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I can decipher lyrics and know right from wrong. They don't know what they're singing. You know what I mean? Remember as kids you would sing a song? Yeah. You don't know the lyrics. If you used to sing 50 Cent songs, but you didn't know the lyrics. You know what <laughs> I mean? The lollipop song. Exactly, yeah. But you just sang the song because it was catchy, because it was fun. And so uh, I think it's really, really important that, uh, that the people that are coming up make the stand to make the music different, you know what I mean, and make it beneficial to children. Did I answer your question? Yeah. I did? Cool. No, I was just having a conversation. Yeah, you know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you that plenty of times because I go off on, like, crazy <laughs> tangents sometimes. But No, nah, no, nah, we're good. Like, I know, I, I, I agree because there's honestly a lot of songs that I like out on the radio right now, and I couldn't even, I don't, I know the words of the lyrics when yeah. the song comes on. Couldn't tell you what they mean. No. But I'm just like, sing it's just the beat. Yeah, it's, just, it's so a, there's, good. There's literally a specific formula to writing a hit song, legitimately. Do you have that formula? I, I yeah, actually <laughs> I do. To be completely honest, I mean I've I've studied a lot of music. I listen to music very different when it comes to mm -hmm. the reason why I listen to it. I listen to music to study it. So I listen to a trap music for a month. I listen to uh, lyrical conscious music for a month. I listen to old Jay-Z albums, you study different rappers, study different types mm -hmm. of genres to be able to be versatile. But um, as, far as, as far as writing a hit song goes, the, the basic format is just a very hot beat, very, very hot beat. A one phrase, a one phrase hook, just repeat the same thing. Yeah, like how could I not? How could I not think of the lyrics to call me? Maybe like seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A one phrase hook, repeat the same thing. A pre-hook, that's one phrase also. Like so, there's a a verse, a pre-hook, mm -hmm. then a hook, right? So the verse is like the rapping part. The pre-hook is um. What 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 example can I give you? Uh, call me maybe. I, just, I, I don't know why I thought about that. I just popped into my head. Yeah, I can't, I can't think of any pre-hooks right now off the top that, uh, that, are definitely, that are definitely, like, legitimate. But that's, what, that's all it consists of. You have a one-phrase hook, a one-phrase pre-hook, two verses that probably won't even matter because, honestly, lyricism right now isn't that big of a deal. But, um, but yeah, you put that together and anybody could really make, like, a hit single. No.